Let's solve this problem. Evaluate the integral. So we have the integral of dx over x square root of 9x squared minus 4. So actually, this integral can be evaluated by simply using the formula for integral yielding inverse trigonometric functions. But I will use this time another method which is trigonometric substitution. So, whenever we are given the form of the integral, square root of u square minus a square du, we can apply the trigonometric substitution. That is, we can let u be equal to a second theta. So, we will transform the original integral in terms of the new variable theta. If we try to pattern the original integral to this form, I can rewrite the original integral first as the integral of dx over x square root of this 9x square. I can write as 3x quantity square minus while this 4 I can rewrite as 2 square. So if you pattern this integral to this form, I can equate or have the value of u as equal to 3x and I can have the value of a as equal to 2. So, therefore, a is 2 and u is 3x. If we apply this substitution, we can let u be equal to a, which is 2, times second theta. So, we know that u is equal to 3x. I can substitute u as 3x equal to 2 second theta. The next step is we need to get the derivative of both sides. So, the derivative of 3x, so that's 3dx equal to the derivative of 2 second theta, that's 2 times derivative of second theta, that's second theta tangent theta d theta. Or if we try to solve for dx here, I can divide both sides by 3. So, therefore, we will have dx is equal to 2 thirds second theta tan theta d theta. So, if we substitute here on the original integral, so we will have the integral of, so this dx is equivalent to 2 thirds second theta tan theta d theta over x which is equal to, by the way, I can solve for this equation for x by dividing both sides by 3. So, therefore, you can have x is equal to 2 thirds second theta. So, therefore, x is equal to 2 thirds second theta. Then, times the square root of, so this 9x square, we wrote that as 3x quantity square, right? So, this 3x is now equal to, to 2 second theta, so therefore we will have 2 second theta quantity squared, then minus 4. I can cancel out these 2 thirds and second theta, so I am left with tangent theta d theta on the numerator over the square root of 2 second theta quantity squared, it's the same as 4 second squared theta minus 4. So we will have integral of tan theta d theta over the square root of, if we factor out the 4 here, we will have 4 times quantity second squared minus 1. But applying Pythagorean identity for the second squared theta minus 1, that's just the same as tan squared theta. So therefore, we will have integral of tan theta d theta over, we can extract the square root of 4 tan squared theta, right? So that's equal to 2 tan theta. Then, canceling out this tan theta, we are left with 1 half d theta. And this 1 half is just constant. I can put in front of the integral. So, we have 1 half integral of d theta. Evaluating the integral of d theta, that's just equal to theta, right? Then, don't forget the plus c. So, we're not yet done. We still need to transform back the theta in terms of the original variable x. So to do that, let's go back to the substitution that we had. So we let 3x be equal to 2 second theta, right? So if 3x is equal to 2 second theta, I can divide both sides 
of the equation by 2, I can have 3 halves x is equal to second theta. Then to get the theta, I can get the inverse second of both sides. So arc second or inverse second of 3x over 2 is now equal to theta. So we substitute in our answer, we will have 1 half times theta which is arc second of 3x over 2 plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.